Hello there fellow summoners, Mad Dog HT here. We're going back into variant 6, chapter 1.1, the beginning path up to Rhino. Alright guys, so um, I looked at my variant 6 playlist, didn't have this path. This is the very first path that I did. Not sure if I accidentally deleted the video or I missed recording it. It says henchmen, get a fury, purify all passive debuffs, or passively purify all debuffs. And that includes the poison that you're gonna get every seven seconds if you're not poison immune. And I know I, I, this is the team that I brought. So I don't know if um, I got lucky when I soloed him with like the Furies procking and purifying the poisons. Um, because the poisons can really add up very fast um, and when I had some alliance mates ask like who um, I used to take this dude down I was like I use venom and they were like venom um, I was like yeah and I know I I did it with like 4% health left um, and so maybe I got some crazy RNG with the poisons. Here we go. And there we go. We got we got the solo. Um, and I will tell you, I I did try several times. To solo this guy again that was the first one um, in multiple tries so I sold him on the very first attempt when I did my completion run um, was able to solo him there but I did try a couple times and I kept getting around like anywhere between 40 to 60 percent off um, but there we got him um, and so for the rest of this um, I think we're going to uh, we're gonna use ghost on this one um, the rest of this path is pretty straightforward um, my ghost is not awakened so um, I don't get that extra power gain um, but you can purify those poisons um, and they're gonna turn into passive furies which is nice. Um, and yeah, ghost does really well. I, you know, I'm, you, you can ghost, um, what's his bucket, Annihilus. Um, but if you do get an armor break on you, you're kind of hosed. Um, so there, there we go, got ghost, soloed the Ultron. That was pretty quick. We're gonna use, um, let's just use uh, Labtron for this one. Should be interesting. Um, Labtron is poison immune. Don't have to worry about poisons and whatnot. Just have to um, fight her normally. Um, she will glance a lot. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get too many poisons on her. Um, from Labtron's abilities because of the glancing um, but we'll see what we can't do on this um, if I had a if they gave out like older rank 5 gems I really would like to rank this dude up to be honest um, this out for her special one because I don't know how to dex her special two cleanly every time. Oof. I just got clipped on the end of that L1. I don't think I'm going to make it. I'm pretty certain I'm not going to make it. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe. That cold snap, it doesn't detonate like Iceman's. There we got a poison. Oh! Missed a block. Alright, not ideal. I sucked. Um, let's go back in with Ghost and finish this chick off. Um, but yeah, um, Ghost is pretty good for this line. Um, I'm gonna use um, uh, Mole Man for Wasp. job with Labtron, but that's okay. Next up we have um, Wasp, and Mole Man's going to take this one, so the poisons are going to get eaten up by his monster mass, um, and while I have all that monster mass, I don't go into that frenzy mode. Um, I do have True Strike, so um, I don't have to worry about her evading um, I am immune to shock regardless um, if she could evade me and put this try to put the shock on and Mole Man he does pretty well um, come on I want her to throw her special one so there we see you can see that I had I purified two poisons so far um, I don't want to go to special three because I want to not go into that frenzy mode because um, I still want to be able to purify those poisons just through his um, natural abilities. It's not that I'm getting a fury or anything. Um, oh, where's my true strike? That's interesting. I must lose it after a certain period of time or something. Because I don't have it anymore. There we go. Throw one more special and we can counter it. And she's gone. So that was a pretty easy fight with Mole Man. Um, Wasp can do that fight. Um, a lot of champs, any poison immune ones can do it. Just gotta work around her um, shrinking and missing um, your attack and countering it um, and then here we have um, Massacre Massacre and um, let's use let's use Mole Man again I can't remember who I used on this I think I just used Mole Man um, and yeah so he just does a fine job um, he's got decent Decent bleeds. Um, take this guy out. And, um, hey, what's up? I'm just making a little video on this path that somehow I lost. And I'm recording my voice with it, so you can say hi to everybody. That's my, that's my boy, Easton. Um, so yeah, so Mole Man, Mole Man works well, um, just because he can purify those poisons almost instantly with the monster mass. Um, bleed damage is pretty decent. I do have max deep wounds, which definitely helps, um, the duration. Okay, can you shut that door so we don't get the TV background noise? Thanks. And this guy 
is almost down. All right. Um, and I did get all my monster masses gone, but they, I didn't go into frenzy. Um, here we go. A lot of hits, a lot of hits. Um, and uh, just shut it all the way. But uh, Mole Man works for this path pretty well for not having a poison immune. I right, said so Frenzy ready. You know, I haven't really used Mole Man much as an attacker. He's usually on Alliance War defense. So I'm not sure even how you activate it manually. I know you can go to special three to activate it, but there we go. He goes down 100 plus hits. Did I get hit once? No, that was pretty clean. And last up we have Iceman. And for Iceman, I used Mephisto because he is um, Cold Snap immune. Um, and he's not the best counter. I mean, obviously Ghost is a better counter for this guy. Um, but this is who I brought on the team um, for this guy. Um, so ideally what I'm going to do is um, try to build up to a special three and have um, Iceman have two bars, have two bars of power and that will allow me to have my aura up. Here, let me get some of that health back from adrenaline first. And even though he is immune to my um, incinerate burn from the aura, um, I do want that power gain for the rest of the fight so I can just spam um, more specials. Um, let's see if we can't get him. No. Come on, dude. There we go. All right, two bars of power. Level three will drain two bars of power. My aura will be up for the rest of the fight. I can spam more specials. Um, special ones, I'm not going to be able to incinerate him because he's incinerate immune. Um, but I can just kind of keep doing special twos. And um, they do okay damage. And let's go. I had his ice armor still up. Let's go. I'll save any L1s or whatnot till the end if I happen to get tagged again and activate my regen. But um, this is a pretty, I mean, they're all pretty straightforward fights. As long as you um, are poison immune um, or can shrug off poison somehow, um, then, you know, these are fairly normal fights. Uh, nothing too crazy. Now I did use Venom on that Annihilus, and again uh, on my first on my first try, I um, I did solo, and but I think I tried maybe like a dozen times to replicate that until this run right here. Um, so it is a little related to RNG trying to push to L2 to get the Furies on your own, um, but you kind of do need to get some furies just from the clintar buff kind of cycling through and, and giving you a fury to to remove some of those um there we go 160 hits not fast by any means but there we go and then last up we have rhino um and what does this guy got he has henchman mastermind armor explosive personality so we're just gonna go in with Venom and see if we can't solo this guy. Did I use Venom? Let me look really quick. Who did I use on my other pass? 
Um, if I go to playlist, variant six, and um, looks like I use Mole Man and Mole Man and Killmonger. Yeah, let me use. I should be able to heal up. Um, he love Venom because he's got the long distance relationship and he's got those armors which I can um, throw some L1s and get some heals from that. Um, do need to be careful with hitting into the block. Um, you can only have so many armor ups before they'll detonate. Come on, throw your special dude. some bleeds on this guy too. That'd be good. Let's see if I can get some of these armors off. Heal some. There we go. Yeah, so Venom is a really good option. He's got bleeds. Um, he does have an armor break just from his heavy. can do that. Just need to watch out for his unstoppable, unblockable charges. Which can be a little bit annoying. He goes unblockable sometimes, but Venom being a large attacker, he's less likely to go unblockable. Um, but he can. Oof. All right, let's get another L1 nullify. Get a little bit of heal. Throw your special. Throw it. There we go. Yeah, that explosive personality. Usually I like to tap into Rhino's block to kind of keep him over in his corner and whatnot. But you can only do that so much because of the explosive personality node. Um, the bleeds, extra bleed damage from that node is, is nice. But I do, you know, when you're playing aggressive, you're gonna build up those weaknesses, which will help with the willpower. Um, here, before we throw off this L2, let's get these weaknesses off. At least a couple of them, there we go. All right, we can maybe hit him one more time, because one of those armors is not the Explosive personality one, and he's dead. There we go. Soloed him. Easy path. Easy, I think. Except the first, the first fight with the Nihilus is kind of tricky. You can use, you can use Mephisto. You can use some poison immunes and just kind of work around him. But the Nihilus is just an annoying to fight to begin with. But there we go. We got a clear, um, and I'll get this uploaded. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.